welcome back to PJ's. Today I want to look at the issue of idling. There is a number of people that have come through to me saying that the engines just don't want to idle. So in this video I'm going to give you a few pointers as to what to check to see if you can remedy the issue of your engine not idling. There are a number of issues on the Golf that um, can cause uh, the engine not to idle and I'm specifically referring to the carbureted model now. Now okay the first thing that you're going to do is right below the coil you will find a connection like this. This is basically the connection that powers your idle cutoff valve and that goes around to the back of the carburetor. I will show you that uh, closer in a second. Now what this does is, this thing enables the engine to idle. If this thing is detached or if this wire is a bad connection, then you won't get an idle on your engine. So what you need to do is to check out this connection, check out this power supply. This detaches and it uh, uh, attaches. So check that out and see if the power supply is secure. Um, in your fuse box you will see there's a fuse specifically for this. As I said it has a fuse and the fuse could also blow and there you can see at number 17 where I'm pointing to now the idling cutoff valve. So make sure that your fuse below you know is also secure. Now the idle cutoff valve is situated at the back of the carburetor there where I'm pointing to. It comes from the power connection which I just showed you and it attaches into the carburetor by means of a screw. Now sometimes these components they pack up and then you need to replace them. Now it's not always that you need to replace them. You can check if they're working or not. I'm going to show you a quick way to check if they are working or not. Okay now for you to check your idle cutoff valve if it's working or not. All you need to do is a simple test by going back to the connection that I showed you earlier disconnect it like I have here now and then turn on your ignition key and then when you insert this back in here you will hear a click once you hear a click then you know your idle cutter valve is working so you can eliminate that as being the problem and the next thing that you can check is to see if your earth strap is secure. The earth strap, you've probably seen it here, it runs from the carburetor, from a screw at the carburetor, and it runs to the nut on the cylinder head. Make sure that those two things are secure. And the next thing that we're going to come to is the good old base plate. The base plate could be leaking. It could be in sucking in air even though you may have fitted a new one. Now the problem that we make with these base plates, we either over tighten them or we make them too loose. Now that is why I always recommend a bit of sealer like Victor Ryan's on the base plate. And also when you tighten these um, nuts, the very four long bolts, that runs through the carburetor. Make sure that you don't make that too tight because you'll be pulling onto the actual uh, carburetor. You'll be pulling it upwards and you'll actually be bending the, the base plate. But like I say, that can give you a non-idling issue if there is a very serious leak here. In most cases, it'll idle, but you will just have, have very bad running like cutting off and um, you know erratic idling and um, bad performance just a tip when you do tighten up the nut that is here on the bracket on the cylinder head of the air box make sure that you don't make this too tight because if you make it too tight you'll be pulling on this forward here and you also have an effect in on the base plate so don't uh, make it too tight just tighten it enough so that it can be secure then another thing to check is also for um, other air leaks that may come from your brake booster, you know, if your brake servo pipe is leaking, if there's air coming, if it's sucking in air, like these little pipes here, make sure they're sealed off, if they need to be sealed off, 
your brake booster make sure that the, the diaphragm inside is not um, uh, punctured all those things affect um, idling another thing to check and which definitely does affect your idling is if your ignition timing is not set a lot of us we just uh, put it on the marks after we've done our cam and crank timing we have just uh, get them all set on the marks but the important thing to do after that is also to set your ignition timing because that will affect your idling it may not cause you to have a non idle but your idle will jump around and then another thing that can also cause you to have idling issues or non idling issues if your air fuel mixture is incorrect if it's too rich or if it's too weak it will affect your idling so what you also need to do then is to have your carburetor tuned and um, you can also go to my video uh, just search there on carburetor tuning on my channel and you will find a video there how to tune your carburetor if you do not want to go that route uh, take it to uh, someone that knows what he's doing with carburetors I would say the most important thing here for you to check if your car doesn't idle is to check out your idle cutoff valve and that is the first thing that I showed you in the video. Have a look at those things, have a look at the fuse in the fuse box and see if the connection to the idle cutoff valve is secure. Thanks for watching guys, cheers and take care on the roads.